So talk to me about, you know, this last one. Oh man, Hans, I'm telling you, the last one that I saw, I've been seeing a lot of, you know, a lot of these entities have been coming to me frequently more often in February. I don't know, I'm having a lot of activity lately. I don't right. usually always see this many. Right. But last Saturday I was with a coworker and we went to lunch and we sit outside and skywatch for an hour. As soon as I hit the doors and I get outside, I saw like at least 20 or 30 paper oh anomaly gosh. looking ones, like laminars. Right. Something that looked like that, they were clustering together with birds. And then they started to do that flicker. Wow. And they, yeah, it was crazy. And then they went up. They went and they did triangle formations, but they were like paper objects. Oh and then up above, I'm not kidding you, was a hawk. And then all of a sudden I see all these seagulls. I see crows, many different birds flying together, hanging out with them. Like as if they just showed up together. It was weird. Now listen to this. All of a sudden, all these little paper anomalies came together and one, they formed one object. And it was Whoa. about the size of a car. Whoa. The size of a car. Yeah, it was unbelievable and I'm seeing this and it wasn't too far away it wasn't too close but it wasn't too far away it was a clear day you know this was like maybe like 1 30 last Saturday and um it was it was incredible so here I am taking my camera out go up to like record this because I always take my camera everywhere I go sure. right start recording and guess what happens the camera battery dies. <laughs> it's happened to me a million but times I know oh, what you're talking it about. It's been amazing wow. to see this, but I got one snapshot though. Wow. And it's I, weird. And it's an amazing snapshot, that's for sure. It is, it is. It looks like to me organic material like bought like like right. almost like chicken fat. Now this happened in February this this month here. This just happened this just last Saturday. Oh my gosh. Where these now listen listen to this my coworker comes in and then she 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 stands up, she looks up and she's looking up and she sees anomalies everywhere. Really? Then we turn around, I'm not kidding. Uh, we turn around and we look above the building and there's remember those paper bag anomalies we saw uh, sure. at Hollydale Park or, yeah, yeah. or Sequoia? Sure. Okay, so these paper anomaly bags were low two looking ones that you know they're not really paper bag anomalies we know there's something living hanging out right uh, right above us mm. other people were seeing it and they were just looking at it a bunch of little sparrows or birds flying around it Whoa. and they just they were all 360 there was things everywhere around wow. us wow it, it was how, amazing how high was it oh man that's Half a, tough a mile. Guess. It could have been anywhere you know, maybe 500 feet, 1,000 feet. I don't know. So they're pretty close. Pretty low. Honestly, as, as the ones that come to Sequoia Park that are really low, like those lower ones, right. it was as low as those. It's, wow. It wasn't that far. It was right. enough to where I got it on like my cell phone camera, but I didn't have it on the actual camera. Fantastic. It was just incredible. Fantastic. But see, that's not the only thing. Then I see this red large bubble thing go across the sky. Okay. And this it was very, very large horizontal goes across the sky and it turns into this plain object i'm not kidding you wow i look twice and i go you got to be kidding me wow. no time to get the camera yeah so you never know you know what perception of everything of what we're seeing of what's real and what's not interesting well, you see some of the most incredible things and what what's cool with you is that you actually were able to capture these things so I'm very yeah. impressed. I'm always very impressed and stuff. But I, honestly, I think that these things are like more attracted to women because I think women are more, you know, in touch with with these Maybe things. More you know? open to yeah. exactly. I don't know. Exactly. That's what I think. You know, I also think it has something to do with different levels of higher levels of consciousness. Right. Right. You know, once I agree. you reach a certain level, you're able to see through certain layers of the atmosphere and through the light spectrum sure. in the sky. I believe it could be something to do with that. Wow. Um, my, after my original sighting, I feel like how somehow I'm always searching and looking for them, and they know that, and I feel they, I, I feel like they feel safe with me. Interesting. You know what I mean? Like they right. feel safe enough to show their original form. Right. Right. Absolutely. And not just balloon anomaly looking one. Fantastic. I'm telling you. you. Know, um, no, I totally agree with you. I think that yeah. uh, you haven't really strayed. You haven't really uh, drifted. And I think that they're like close to you because of that and stuff, you know? I mean, you continue to see some of the most amazing things. I mean, some of the pictures you end up sending me like really knock my socks off. So, oh, thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. I try and I love zooming in and capturing, you know, every detail and color and shape that I can because they're all different. They're not all, you know, the ones that are unique, like this last one I saw, for example. Is it okay if I tell that story about no, no, the last one I saw? Okay, so this last one I saw was on Saturday, 
February 17th, and it was around like 11.45 in the morning. I'm at my house. Mm. I go outside, go in the backyard, and I'm looking up at the pine tree I always use as a reference. I look to the right, and there's one just sitting there. <laughs> and it was this really strong white, you know, looking thing, but it had all of a sudden an expanded um, uh, bubble or some oh. type of clear embryo, like you say, sack, if you describe it like that. Like right, right. It just expanded into like this clear bubble with these energies inside of it, like spinning. Interesting. Nothing like a normal one we would normally see, which is like a lot of, you know, balloon looking ones or white orbs or, you know, further away. This one was pretty close. Um, and it started to drift. And mm. as it was drifting, I can see kind of an outer clear bubble energy saucer, like a teal color. And inside you can see these little things spinning. Well, but it did look like I couldn't make out, you know, the detail of the shape or anything. It just looked like light, like energy. But then I started to film it. You know, a lot of times you don't see what you're getting on your camera until sure. you look later. I know. You zoom in, and this thing hung out like a half hour. I'm not kidding. Wow. It was it was amazing. A lot of light, different than a lot of the other ones I've seen. So I'm like, I have to record this. Interesting. And when I zoomed in later and I looked at the photos and I saw like that it actually had kind of a not a silver saucer shape, but it had, if you would describe it as like an energy saucer, plasma, something like that. Wow. Embryo, as you describe it. Um, definitely plasma looking lights, energy on the inside spinning. If you really slow some of the videos down, 6527, mm. that one's a good one. You slow it down, you can see. You can see the flybys, right? Right. There's a lot of flybys. I know I sent you that video and it was amazing. I, I didn't even um, do all of them because there were there's so many of them. I'd have to stop it every three seconds, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And each one, it looks a little bit different, but it's definitely um, a unique one. I thought it was worth sharing with everybody because if you look at the shape and everything, it's kind of hard for someone to say that's a balloon. And if they do, I mean, come on, really? Right, right. This one was yeah, pure ridiculous. light, pure transparent looking sure. you know the bubble part of it was interesting you know um, I, I wouldn't know how to describe it it was just amazing just very amazing, amazing sighting Fantastic. I had and I feel like they like to see me they, they come they're just sometimes sitting out there when I go outside interesting Wow. Yeah. So you don't have to even wait. They're just waiting for you. You don't have to wait for them to come after you, like call for no. them and stuff like that. No, that Q one I saw, same thing. I go out front, boom, it comes out. I go outside, that one's sitting in the sky. Wow. The Ivani one, same thing on that Ivani one I got that time. It's, I was just sitting out there, but right. you know, it's not every day, but right. lately it seems more active. I, I've had it where like months would go by and I, I don't see anything, you know, and I'll be right. looking. Well, so it just seems to be active right now for some reason. I'm, well, I'm, I'm glad. very <laughs> impressed what what you've been able to see over in the San Fernando Valley. Uh, I'm very glad that you come to our UFO sighting events and Yay. stuff at LA UFO Channel and stuff like that. So, oh, okay. yeah. so thank you, excited. thank I'm you, Shelley. Concept. She's fantastic, you guys. Oh, if you guys hi, just thank you. seriously, if you guys are just like like hang around, Shelley. Uh, things, you know, may end up coming over to you too. So, uh, I'm you know, not kidding. They do my coworkers see them. She's, yeah, <laughs> she's, she's got coworkers, you know, seeing them that she ends up, you know, hanging out with and stuff like that. So it's just amazing. So anyway, yeah, thank so you. fantastic. Okay. Well, wonderful. So, um, anyway, uh, thank you very much for, for talking about oh, it. And, uh, um, great. Yes. And thank you for allowing me to share my story and to share this wonderful sighting with everybody because I can't keep it to myself it's right, wonderful right. To share. This is the, this there's a lot is... of science involved with this and we are a part of it others don't understand it or get it yet but you know what we do absolutely absolutely That's so fantastic help. Well, thank you, Shelly, and uh, we'll uh, we'll put together things soon, and uh, we'll see each other also uh, over at our next UFO sighting event. So, um, thank you. So we're excited. Okay, well, very good. So we'll talk to you next time when you see something uh, incredible. uh, Please send it over to me, and we'll we'll talk about it again. Okay. Oh, thank you. I will. I will. I know there's some more amazing stuff we're gonna see. (laughs) I I know. I I know the eleventh. The eleventh is gonna be amazing as well. So okay, fantastic. and I know right, the, Hans, thank the, you so much. The, the best is yet to come, that's for sure. It is. It's true. And with all the energy we bring to it, we know some good right. things are coming this right. year. I have a feeling. Okay. Well, right, very thank good. Thank you for all your hard work on that. Thanks, well, Hans. Thank you. Okay, Shelly, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Sounds good. Bye.